Today, we're going to show how to create new materials based on existing ones. For example, you might want to add or remove a symbol from a material that you made last week. Or perhaps you found something in the Sharing Center that is almost exactly what you're looking for, but needs small changes to the wording for your situation. LessonPix materials are all PDF files, so in theory, you can modify them however you'd like using tools like Acrobat and Inkscape, which is free. However, many users don't have these tools, so we've made it very easy to create a new derived material based on the one you already have. Let's take a look. Let's go to the Sharing Center and find a social story on walking in line. Here's a great one that Annette shared. When we look at the material, there's just a few things we'd like to change. First, we want to have each picture on its own page so we can print it large for students with low vision. Second, this picture isn't quite right. It's originally for the word far, which is a close idea, but we know there's this one for the word alone, which is closer to what we want. It shows a student standing away from his friends. To be fair to Annette, this picture might not have been available when she made the original story, but it is now, so we should use it. Let's go back to the story and make sure our tray is empty by hitting clear. Now, instead of downloading the story, we'll look at the very bottom and see the images that were used for this material. Notice that each picture has the words that Annette used and they're in the right order. If we hit load all, they will be put in the tray all in one step. We're almost ready to rerun the wizard, but let's add the image we want to use. We search for alone and drag the picture to the tray. It's added to the end, but that's okay. We'll fix it in the wizard. Now we click create materials to launch the wizard. Click books and stories and hit next. Here you'll see the pictures that were used by Annette with her text. Let's drag the new picture up next to the one we want to replace. We'll copy down the text, which we like. We can change any of the text here if we wanted. To get rid of the old picture, just set the quantity field to zero. Click next to get to the options screen. Here we'll choose whole page for our low vision students and make sure we set the title to Walking in Line. Click Finish to make your material. That's all there is to it. Your new material is derived from Annette's, but is uniquely yours. You'll find your version in the Your Lesson Picks tab under Your Recent Materials. You can share it on the Sharing Center or keep it private. Remember, you can start a new material from any of your own materials as well, not just those in the Sharing Center. That means you can reset your tray to the same symbols you used last week or last year. It's a very powerful tool. I hope you found this helpful and can't wait to see what you create. If you have questions, click help in the upper right or join us on the LessonPix users Facebook group. And as always, good luck and have fun.